and, and, and the thrill of just exploring. Hi, uh, my name is Ronnie LaJoy and I'm a proud member of the Mars Society, National Space Society and the Planetary Society and probably others. Uh, I'd like to personally thank the panelists and their colleagues at, at large for giving me decades of inspiring art and inspiring art and me through the long, long, long wait between space missions uh, and for possibly my chance to fly someday. Uh, the National Space Society began a, a calendar project a few years ago to do our part to help uh, new space artists get noticed and to help the space movement spread its message of positive vision for the future. Uh, and I'm happy to present uh, each of the panelists with a complimentary copy of our Space Settlement 2009 calendar. Oh, and, uh, thank you. Uh, we still have more in the back, and uh, August is Mars Society Month. So. All right. <laughs> thank you very much. One last question. Um, my name is Harriet Fibland. Uh, I'm a sculptor, painter, and happen to be the President Emeritus of the American Society of Contemporary Artists, which is a national organization uh, of artists across the United States. Um, I'm very happy to see that we have such a panel, and uh, I was very happy to see what you're showing. You're showing works that of fine artists as well as uh, illustrators and um, commercial artists. Um, I feel that there's a whole community of um, people who are interested in the arts who not, know nothing about the space program, and that our museums do not put on shows about space. And we have this whole group, thousands of people who come to the museums, you're knee deep when we have very good shows, uh, who don't ever hear anything about uh, space. Uh, I would like some way to get to uh, that audience, that's a particular audience, and have our artists across the United States working with this subject. It's a subject that's never brought up. Uh, we never hear about it. It's never in the shows. It's never in the museums. The artists don't do it. Um, we should do something to make them do it. Uh, here I am. I come here to the Mars Society and to other or space uh, groups. I say this all the time. I've been saying it for almost 30 years. Uh, it's just not happening. So there's some way that you're not reaching that group, and that's a, a powerful group. They buy art, they uh, are interested in, they want to know, but they don't know anything about space. A, so a lot, of that, a lot of that is because of the resistance of the fine art world that's to this genre of art. And we've not all, really. We've the all had those conversations, we've all faced that resistance in our, in our careers. Mike has war stories, I'm sure, Jim Dean has war stories about that. Uh, well, I'll tell you that you're not reaching us. Mm -hmm. You're not reaching us Can because the artists are certainly interested if they would do it, if they had shows of that kind. They're not going to do it and keep it in their, in their house if they want to sell their work. You know what's, re what's really cool, if I could just say just quickly, because Alan Bean was at our celebration on the 18th and on the 20th, and there's uh, opened a new exhibit of his artwork uh, inspired by his experience as a fourth man on the moon. And it's in the revolving gallery at the Air and Space Museum, which I, th I believe is the most visited museum of all the Smithsonian. And I went on the 20th event, which was not open to the public, and it was crammed. And then I decided to go back just on a regular day of the week. And it was packed to the gills to see Alan That's Bean's right. artwork. And it was very inspiring. You can purchase it. It's very expensive. Um, but it, it'll be there through January, and tens of thousands of people will see, will see exactly what you're talking about, which I think is really great. Mm -hmm. Well, if the museums, the art museums put on, and rather than the Smithsonian, the, if the art museums did these shows. We can't wait for the art museums. They're too stuffy, and they're never going to do it. I oh, think we just have to do it on our own. You have to reach them. So there's some way you're not reaching them, is all I can say. So can I tell a 30-second worry? Um, when I started painting about 15 years ago, um, my mother actually started painting and just for a laugh, I went to the um, studio where she was learning to paint. There are 15 students there and, and me as a hanger on her. Um, all 15 were painting eucalyptus trees or sugarcane paddocks and things, but I was actually painting craters on the moon. Um, they thought I was a freak. <laughs> um, I didn't care because I really enjoyed it, but um, unfortunately that was just the feeling at the time. I, yeah, I think this is a, a problem inherent with the nature of 
uh, art that touches on a, such a different discipline. Uh, but it's something that uh, is a matter of maturation in the culture too, I think. Um, and, uh, and maybe some of us can talk about this after the, the meeting outside. I'd be happy to uh, okay. make myself available, but we do need to uh, move on for the next group. And uh, I wanna thank the panel so much uh, for, for all your inspiration uh, and great discussion, and thank you very much.